Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and uh, thanks for joining again. Today's tip is about how to EQ and compress drum tracks in Personas Studio One Prime, the free DAW. I'm going to show you my techniques of how to get great results, drums that really punch in your stomach, clear, stands out and is balanced against the rest of the tracks. To demonstrate this technique, what I have done is I've opened up a session in Studio One Prime. I simply drag loops of drums, bass, electric guitars and so on to demonstrate and show my technique of how to get really great drum mixes. Let's have a quick listen of what it sounds without any of my effects. Okay, so that's the tracks, just done a very basic mixing so that I can have a balance and demonstrate it. Now, I had a question previously of how to get my cursor, my playing cursor, back to the beginning every time I stop. So I press play. When I press stop, it goes back right to the beginning. Or, let's say if I want to start from there, and I press play. And it goes back there every time I stop. To achieve this result, you right click and select return to start on stop. So if you disable that one, and if we press start and stop, it actually stops wherever the cursor is. So if you want to return back to the beginning, just enable that. I thought I'll just throw that in while I'm at it. <laughs> okay, so let's play. Now let me turn on my effects and see what difference it made. Just pay attention to the drums as well. Turn it off in the next loop. Now it's off. Sounds very dull. Now you can actually hear the drum and it's really punchy and it's right in your face and it actually balances up the whole mix. So how have I done this? Just going to open up the, um, the drum bus. As you can see, I've got three channel strips. Then I have a send that goes into an effects channel being used as group. And then I have a channel strip there as well. So let's have a listen to what's happening um, with the... Turn that off as well. Let's have a listen just to the drums. This is without any of the effects. And let's turn it on. And then descend. Let me explain one channel strip at a time, what's happening. What I'm using is serial compression and EQ. And I'm compressing and equalizing each time by using the channel strip. The first one. With the first one, I'm doing some compression on fast dynamic, so it will capture the transients very quickly. And I am getting rid of some of that drums about you know, the 250 hertz, because the kick drum is about 60 hertz that's on, on, on this track. And then I'm using the third harmonics, which is 250 hertz or 240 hertz or thereabouts, and getting some of that harmonics off 
to give the kick drum a bit of breathing so that there's, there's room and difference between the kick drum and the rest of the drum kit. So let's um, turn this off and have a listen to the first channel strip of what's that doing. You see that muddiness in there? It really brings it up. A little bit of compression, maybe about uh, no more than 6 dB compression. And I'm doing some makeup gain for it as well. The next one, I'm get getting rid of some of the snare drums really boxiness. And then some compression on that as well. Again, very subtle compression, no more than 3 dB. Let's have a little difference again. And you can hear that you know, bang, bang, bang of the actual, you know, the boxiness of the snare. And that's gone. So we took care of the take so we took care of the bottom end and then the snare the two most important bits and next I'm basically leveling it and then giving it some of the cl clarity and the air at the end because the compression the previous two compressors would actually taken some of the, um, the the high ends off and now I'm giving it back again so very subtle EQ and very subtle compression as well Okay, so that's what the three channel strips are doing. One, I'm taking care of the bottom end. Next, I'm taking care of the snare. And then balancing it and bringing up some of the clarity back in. Now, the next thing I'm actually doing is using a send. And this is um, a, a pre-fader send. That's going to... I'm, I'm using the... The send to send to kick compressor, which is this is my effects send there. Okay, so that's where it's going, the kick compressor, and basically it's just another copy of the whole drum track. And on the channel strip, but what I'm doing there is I'm boosting the bottom, and then some, and giving some of the mid. So it's sort of like a low pass, giving really drastic EQing uh, that I'm doing. So let's have a listen to what this sounds like, which is this track here. Now, you would notice something here. I'm using 100% compression. So, and then I'm blending this highly compressed and the low end accentuated sort of um, sound and I'm filling it back into the mix. Okay, so this drum track is going to drum bus, which is right here. And then my kick is also going to the drum bus. And this is my complete final drum bus there. So I can control the complete drum from there. But this controls really the bottom end. So this is what's going to give that really punchy sound. So when we add drum again, so now we can actually control the tightness of the kick drum by using this kick compression, parallel compression bit. You can hear just the kick. We can ease it and then come in however tight we want it. So that's how I'm trying to achieve the difference between this and this.
uh, without the channel strip effects. Now with it. If I turn off the whole thing, this is what the loops sounded like row default. can actually feel the drum it really brightens up it makes the lives end it up so the kick drum and the snare and all the hi-hat are really nicely balanced and all level and it sounds more professional than what it used to sound like I hope this uh, video was helpful for you. If it was, give me the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get kept up to date with the latest videos and tips and ideas that I upload. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio.